Last week, President Gordon wrote an op-ed piece in the New York Times calling for an end to all dangerous fraternity and sorority pledging events. The Daily Sun took to College Town and asked Cornellians whether they thought this was a realistic goal. I'm not very familiar with the Greek culture. I mean, I'm not part of a fraternity, but I don't think easing needs to be part of it. I think um, being admitted into that type of organization could be through um, merit. It's sort of nonsense for the, the President Gordon to try to fix everything or regulate everything because the and Cornell students are responsible and they, they definitely can set restrictions upon their own hazing activities to make it so it's safe. I have to agree with them 100%. I'm a, a class of 81 and uh, was a SAE and uh, we had a, a tragedy uh, occur last year and uh, we've now lost our uh, our, our chapter for uh, five years, um, but more importantly, we've lost the life of, uh, of a young student with so much promise. And people are downplaying the death of Georgia students just a little bit, a little bit too much, uh, in my opinion. Um, but I'm probably in the minority on that. So. But I don't know. I do think it is a, a realistic goal. I don't necessarily know if I believe when he says he's going to stop all forms of hazing because I think he's a very level-headed person and he just kind of knows that it's not the most realistic thing. But I think it's a great idea to have that goal or kind of reduce what has been going on because obviously it's a bigger problem than everyone. I think a lot of student groups probably have their own initiation rituals and even sports teams might also have hazing. So there, there is a wider net to cast and more, more things that would probably help the general student body. I don't think Greek life itself is inherently dangerous. I think Greek life is a major part of this university. I don't think hazing is that bad at this school anyways. I think the crackdown on like no freshmen going to partying is more of an issue. Registered fraternity parties are actually uh, safer drinking environments than most people would like to think. There are hired security guards, um, hard alcohol is not allowed, and there's only one serving station limited to each fraternity. Uh, so I feel that if fraternities are kept to holding registered events, um, they'll be promote safer drinking behavior. Instead of like banning pledging, which I think is a little separate from you know hazing initiation, you could like promote safe activities and provide resources for people to report hazing and um, reveal to the public which uh, fraternities actually do hazing.